A quick revision of straight line graphs is as follows. All straight line graphs have an equation of the form y equals mx plus c. m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. That is where the line passes through the y-axis. When we have a diagram with scales on the x and y-axis which are the same, we can use this very quickly. To find the equation of the line A, I can see straight away that the gradient is 2 because I go across 1 up 2. So A has the equation y equals 2x and it cuts the y-axis at 2, so it's y equals 2x plus 2. The equation of B, the gradient is across 1 down 3, so it will be y equals minus 3x and it cuts the y-axis at 3, so we have plus 3. For the equation of C, I can see that as we go across one, it goes up a half, so we have y equals a half x, and it cuts the y-axis at minus a half. When we don't have the same scale on the x-axis and the y-axis, we need to use a slightly different method. To find the gradient, I'm going to use this formula. M, the gradient, is equal to the change in the y direction divided by the change in the x direction. To do this, I need to pick two points on my line. I'm going to pick this point here and this point here. I'm going to call this point x1, y1, and this point x2, y2. Now, my gradient m is given by the coordinate y2 minus the coordinate y1 divided by the coordinate x2 minus the coordinate x1. So we have y2, which is minus 3, minus y1, which is 1, divided by x2, which is 0, minus x1, which is 2. This gives me minus 4 divided by minus 2, giving me a gradient of 2. For the equation, I know that the gradient is 2, so I have 2x, and I can see that the line cuts the y-axis at minus 3. So the equation is y equals 2x minus 3. Another thing we need to remember is that parallel lines always have the same gradient. Looking at these parallel lines here, I can see that the gradient of this one is across 1 up 2, so the gradient is 2. This one is also 2, and this one is also 2. In this question, I'm asked to find the equation of the line that passes through C and is parallel to AB. To do this, I need to find the gradient, which will be the same as the gradient of AB, and the y-intercept, which is this coordinate here. I'm going to start by finding the gradient. I know that the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If I call a x1, y1 and b x2, y2, I can now use this. The y coordinate of b is 1. The y coordinate of a is minus 1. The x coordinate of b is minus 2. The x coordinate of a is 0. This gives me a gradient of 2 divided by minus 2, which is minus 1. I know the line that passes through C has gradient minus 1, so it's y equals minus 1x, which I write as minus x. I now need to work out the y-intercept, and I'm told that the point C is the point 0-3, so the y-intercept is plus 3. I now have my equation. Here's a question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answers, press play. I've called A, X1, Y1, and B, X2, Y2. I've found the gradient, which is minus 2. I know that the gradient of this line is minus 2, so it's Y equals minus 2X, and I know that it cuts the Y axis at 5, so C must be 5. 
Here's a second question for you to try. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready for the answers, press play. This time you should have got the equation of the line as being y equals 3x minus 2.